Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell and I'm a GSI for the course. Um, today we'll be going over a practice question regarding the handshake theorem. So as a reminder, the handshake theorem looks something along the lines of this, where we say that um, the total number of degrees in a graph represented as this right over here, this section right here, the total number of degrees in a graph is equivalent to two times the number of edges in a graph. Um, you can think of it as the two ends of an edge or the two people giving a handshake um, is equivalently each giving one handshake. When a handshake occurs, it isn't just one person doing it. It's both people doing it, which is sort of what we're trying to get at with this degree thing. So with this in mind, we have to use this quote to answer this question to some degree. So the question being, let G be a graph with V vertices and E edges. Um, let M or capital M be the maximum degree of the vertices of G and let lowercase m be the minimum degree of the vertices of G. So what we wanna show is that this term right here, or 2E divided by V, 2E divided by v sorry, is both greater than or equal to the minimum and also less than or equal to the maximum. So let's work with what we can see right now. So I noticed that right over here, we see a 2E and that looks eerily similar to what we have over here, right? So if we kind of wanted to rewrite this, we could say that 2E over V is actually just the sum of all of the degrees. I'm gonna omit some notation and just say, sum of all the degrees divided by V. So we're taking now the total number of degrees that we have and dividing it by V. Or in other words, we're saying that this is the average number of degrees per perversity. And what we know about averages is that if we do have an average of something that it's always going to be greater than or equal to the minimum of some given element. Um, that's a property that we know from just algebra and something that we've used many times before. So since we can represent this as the average number of degrees per vertice, we know for a fact thereafter that it has to be greater than or equal to M since M is representative of the minimum degree of the vertices of G. And sort of in a similar line of logic, we know for a fact that it will also be less than or equal to the maximum, because if you want to think about it, you can't have an average be greater than the maximum. It won't average out otherwise. So yeah, that's the general idea behind this question. Um, just kind of being able to identify when to use handshake theorem or why handshake theorem might be useful. In this case, we notice that it says 2e pretty representative of what we would need for its question and yeah